In this video, I'd like to talk about some of the differences between solid edge and SolidWorks drawings. One of the first differences that you're going to come up against is in the use of templates, and in particular, the drawing background or the drawing border. Let's start by creating a simple drawing of this part. So we'll go to the New menu, create a drawing of the active model. I'll browse to my list of templates. I can use a standard template for ANSI metric. and Solid Edge automatically creates three standard projected views. To make sure that our drawing is set up properly, there are two places I want to go. One is the Application menu, Settings, Sheet Setup. The two things that you want to get set up in here are the sheet size, and you have a choice of standards here in both inch and metric, as well as custom options. You want to also set up your default sheet scale, and then you also want to take a look and make sure the background is proper. The background is essentially the drawing border, or the format in SolidWorks language. Solid Edge comes with a list of default sheet backgrounds for the A, B, C, and D sizes. You can create your own or copy one from an existing drawing of a size and format that you prefer to use. Once you've got this set up the way you want it, click on OK. Some other settings that you want to make sure to get correct, you can find in the Quick Access toolbar on your Options. Dimension style is surely important, as is your choice of drawing standards. The choice of first versus third angle projection is important. Make sure you go through several of these pages and make sure that you understand the ways in which you can set up solid edge drawings. Some people choose to manually dimension their drawings because the dimensions they use to create a model are not necessarily the same as the dimensions you'd use to create a drawing. On this drawing, I want to use model dimensions, and I can get those from the Retrieve Dimensions tool. Even though this is a synchronous model, Solid Edge can still put the dimensions from the model onto the drawing. Follow the prompt in the prompt bar. It's asking us to click on a drawing view, so we'll click here. Solid Edge puts in the appropriate dimensions. We'll also click here to add other dimensions. There may be some dimensions such as this slot which weren't used in the model and these will need to be created manually. I may also want to get some additional views and the principal view tool is like the projected view tool in SolidWorks. So this will allow us to select the primary view and project views from that. I'm going to use this isometric view and then move this out of the way. There are other types of views that you can create in Solid Edge, and one of those will be the auxiliary view. With the auxiliary view, you start by drawing a line from which to project the view, but this view already has an angled line, so I'm going to select that and project from that line. You can move around the rest of the views to make sure that things aren't running into one another on the sheet. From here, we can make a section view but a section view in Solid Edge requires a cutting plane first, and a cutting plane in turn requires just a straight line. So let's click on the cutting plane, click on a view that we want to cut, and then draw in the line, close the cutting plane, establish the direction of the cut, and then create the section view from the cutting plane. This view is aligned to the parent view, and we can only move it up and down with respect to that view. If you want to move the view somewhere else, you can right-click inside the view, turn off Maintain Alignment, and then move the view somewhere else. The next type of view that takes a little more work than the average view is the broken out section view. The first step is to select the view that you want to create the broken out section view from, and then Solid Edge is looking for us to create a closed profile sketch. Once you have your closed sketch, then we close the broken out section button, and we choose a depth from another view. So I want to go through the midpoint of the slot and then we need to apply this cut to a particular view and I'll select 
this isometric view. If you want to alter the sketch for the broken out section, that, that's a little tricky and maybe not obvious. So we start out by right clicking on the cut view, go to properties, and within this dialog we select show broken out section view profiles and say OK. That will bring this view back. By selecting the view, we can go to Modify Profile, and this allows us to make an edit. And then again, close the broken out section view. Update Views. The command bar allows us to do many things. Lock the position of the view, use the model colors, change various view properties, changing the scale of the view, showing the caption, and edit other properties. You can't edit the 3D model from the 2D drawing in Solid Edge, but what you can do is access the model by double-clicking, bringing up the model dimensions, editing the part dimension, tabbing back to the drawing, recognizing that there are some changes to the drawing views, and clicking on Update Drawing Views. The dimension tracker shows you exactly what has been changed with this particular update. Thanks for watching.